Hi guys, so we are starting off the new year with a Squishmallow hunt, of course. Um, this is a bunch of different footage, but it is going to mostly be the Valentine's Day squads. And I kind of wanted to do a voiceover because I've been really enjoying doing the voiceovers. I think it's so nice I'm able to talk about the Squishmallows and kind of just focus on filming without having to talk at the same time. But I did go to Walmart while they were stocking and found the new little 8-inch squad, which I actually thought was pretty cute this year. Um, I did almost buy Scarlet the chocolate dipped strawberry. Ended up putting her back. I think that she'd be cuter in her smaller size and I really did not need her, so I didn't end up getting her. They also re-released the candy squad from last year. They also had the hug me's. Which, you guys, these are ginormous. Like, you really don't know how big these are until you see them in person. It's ridiculous, but I absolutely love them. Um, I think that they did a really good job. Desmond's tag was off, but a girl actually came and snagged him, like, right after I was done filming. And I hope that she grabbed the tag. I also had these cuties. I kind of am irritated they named the Axolotl Monica because I really don't think it looks like Monica. I'm also curious to know if this Longhorn cow is exactly the same as the one from Walgreens or not. Like, are they the same exact size or are they not the same size? Somebody please let me know. And funny story with Fenra, I did buy them, but then I ended up returning them because they're just too lumpy. I didn't like the stuffing and they're also just way too big. I really don't have the room for these, so I did have Fenra for a short period, but I ended up returning them. And I'm happy to know that that one actually comes in a 5 inch, so I will be on the look out for that. They did have some bins with just a mishmash of squads. Like, I have no idea what was going on here. I really liked seeing Cam, just normal Cam, um, at Walmart. I thought that that was great. But other than that, I really wasn't into anything from this. So, realistically, with the return, I didn't even get anything. But it was really nice to see such a stocked Walmart. A few days later, I actually finally found the Fuzzamello squad. I have been looking for the squad ever since Squish Alert posted about it, and it never got to our Walmarts until now, so months later. I finally found Gwendol. I actually had a friend do a pickup on Gwendol for me the day prior, but it was really nice to find Gwendol like for myself, and Gwendol is absolutely adorable. I do have him, and that was another reason why I returned Fenra was because I needed to have room for Gwendol. We also went out to Target and found some of the new Valentine's Day squad. I found it interesting that they released the same Hug Me's from Walmart in a smaller size, but there isn't like a bigger version of Duster. I also found Pam the Pug, which I think is so cute, especially with the little wings. I did find Caparine. Um, I carried her around for a little bit, but I didn't get her. But the most exciting thing was the next day on New Year's Day, I found what I think is the best Valentine's Day release this year. Like, I think these are the literal cutest things that Squishmallows has put out, these little duo packs. And they're super reasonably priced, like $10.99. This is the only set that I think hasn't like gone up in price by any means. Like you're paying $5 per Squishmallow. And there's such a variety. I, I genuinely am the biggest fan of those. Like, I think they did the best job with those little duo packs. They restocked the Hug Me's, and they also had the Disney stuff, but I didn't end up filming it. Several days later. Okay, guys, so it is well after midnight as I'm filming this, but I wanted to finish up one of my Squishmallow videos so that way I could upload one today for you guys. So I want to show you guys everything that I ended up picking up throughout this video. The first thing we have here was actually a gift. I did not buy this, but it is the 26 inch Duffy Hug Me because it looks like my dog Evie a little bit and it has the embroidered little hearts on the bottom and the little floppy feet and the brown tail and the eyebrows. Super, super cute. My new squish bestie, Miranda, picked this up for me, and you guys will see her in an upcoming Squishmallow hunt that we went on today, actually. That's why I'm home so late, but she did gift me this when I was kind of, like, going through everything, so she gifted me that. It's been chilling in the living room. It has its own chair. It has my old office chair in the living room, and it's just sitting in it, so it's super cute. She also did a pickup for me, and she found... Gwendol the Fuzzamello pig. Is this not 
the most perfect Squishmallow. Like, I totally get the hype. I totally understand. I'm obsessed with him. He is so fluffy. He has, like, a slightly kinked little tail. And I just think that he is literal perfection. I'm I'm obsessed. These took forever to come near us. So when she found them, she messaged me and I was like, yes, yes, yes. No question. No question. So I did get a very cute and big Gwendol. I did not know they were this big. I never ever saw the Connor. People bought up the Connor, so I never got to see Connor. From Target, we have the two packs so i did get two of them and as i mentioned in the voiceover these are officially my favorite valentine's day thing to come of 2023 squishmallows keep giving us stuff like this we love it like with the easter ones like they were cute but did they need to come in the basket no like just do this like this is perfect plus those baskets were like what twenty dollars twenty five dollars and they were four inches these are five inches you get two of them and they're 10.99 Ridiculous. So cute. So I had to get this set because it comes with a little Stevan, which looks the most like my dog Evie. So I've been collecting Stevan a lot. Here is his little tie. And I just think that these are literally like the most bang for your buck. They're so stinking cute. Here's his bio. And I just, I'm obsessed. And his girlfriend's name is Beamy. And she's like a little pink version. And I'm going to leave them attached, I think. I don't think I'm going to take them apart. But I was just super happy to find these. I hit that restock. I cannot believe that I found all the sets. But I had to get this set because it was the one I was looking for the most. And then once I was there and I saw the mushrooms, I was like, okay. They're actually kind of cute. Like, I'm into it. And I think the big selling point for me was the little hearts on the top. Like, these... And I used to have a Molly, but I sold her. And so I don't have a Molly anymore and I just think that these are literally so cute. I don't know if I'm going to keep these on the backer or if I'm going to take them off. I just think like, like Squishmallows did a fantastic job with these sets. So we have Molly and then we have Molly. How cute. I kind of think his name should have been Sully because he's blue. But that might be like a copyright issue and that's why they had to go with Molly. But Molly and Molly, I mean... They're cute. Aren't they adorable? I literally, I'm obsessed with them. Those are all of the Valentine's Day Squishmallows for this video. Keep an eye out though because a bunch more is coming. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.